Greetings lords and ladies, Kaiser here and welcome to another episode of our Bannerlord campaign. Now then, first things first. <laughs> I um I must admit an amateurish mistake. Uh I did an oopsie. And the oopsie I did was the fact that I kept upgrading our watchmen into mercenary scouts. Now, what was wrong with that? Well, what was wrong with that was that I did not realize, for whatever reason, that if we did that, that meant that a lot of our horses are going to be used for unit upgrades. You see, I didn't realize that because... Uh, granted, our uh, Imperial Veteran Archers require Warhorse, of which we have none, uh, which is why we still don't have any uh, Imperial Bukulari in our army. <laughs> However, for whatever reason, I don't know why, like I said, this is completely amateurish of me, but for whatever reason, I did not realize that when we upgrade our Watchmen into Mercenary Scouts, it does require a horse. Now, that meant that a lot of the horses in our inventory were used for this, because we have plenty of uh, cavalry now, and because those um, uh, horses were from our inventory were used, well, that also decreased our inventory capacity, which meant that we lost a lot, and I mean a lot, of our stuff. Like, none of the screwed iron, wrought iron, furs, iron, all of this that we had collected... Almost all of it was gone. <laughs> Which meant that we lost a lot of money. Now, secondly, as you can see right now, we are on 31.9k. Here's the thing. I'm really sorry if you can hear the siren. I kind of forgot that today is the first Saturday of the month. And I don't know if you guys have the same thing in your countries, but in my country, so Slovenia, every single month uh, on the first Saturday... Uh, they actually test out the sirens in all of the uh, major cities. Or, rather, not major cities, just cities in general, I suppose. At any rate, sorry if you heard that. But, uh, yeah, uh, what happened is we decided to create a uh, workshop in Dunglenis. Now, that workshop, while it is bringing in some profit, that profit is minuscule right now. Uh, that profit is also minuscule simply because we are unable or were unable to get rid of the thugs that are apparently collecting taxes from our workshop. Um, at least that's what I read. Now, for whatever reason, I, I suspect that this is a little bit bugged. Because I'm not talking about the fact that uh, the enemy spawns with 15 units while we spawn with, I believe, like 8 or 10 or something like that. Uh, despite the fact that we have 40, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is the positioning that our units actually spawn in. For whatever reason, uh, I actually, I mean, I actually went to try out two additional times just to see if it's if it would actually be possible for us to beat those guys up, and I lost both times. And both times, I lost because not all of our units spawned in the same area. Some of our units actually spawned on the other side of the street, and by the time they actually got to the main fight, all of us were already down. That didn't happen for whatever reason, at least I don't remember it happening in the... The, um, attempt that I recorded, but in the uh, subsequent two attempts, that is exactly what happened. It's kind of annoying, but it does seem like we won't be able to beat those guys up, at least not yet, at least not until we get uh, some better companions, and we hopefully get those companions some better civil outfits which w with which they'll be able to fight. Now, because of that, I decided they'll, well, I guess we'll just have to open another workshop somewhere else, or perhaps, I wasn't expecting to make this much money, I'll be completely honest, I wasn't expecting to to make this much money, but with this much money, we can actually uh, open up two additional workshops. Now, all I did, once again, was just go around um, doing the gambling games, doing uh, tournaments, etc., etc. Now, not a lot has changed, I believe, except for, I believe, Jalmaris used to be uh, the Western Empire uh, territory. It is now um, Batanian territory as well. Zonica is the last... Uh, the last town that the Western Empire actually has. Other than that, I don't think a lot has changed. I'm pretty sure Onira... Uh, Onira might have been the Eastern Empires or Southern Empires, I believe it is called. 
the Northern Empire uh, is more or less still as strong as it was, though I do believe the Athma was not Batanian before. It is Batanian now. So yeah, Batania is definitely a beast on this map right now. The Vlandians aren't too bad either, and neither are the Kuzites. As you, as we mentioned in the previous episode, the uh, the not Sargoth. Uh, what even what even is Sargoth? Where where do they have that name from? Whatever, the Sturgeons <laughs> have already been destroyed. At any rate, with this sort of money, we will go and, I don't know, perhaps uh, visit Kar Banseth. Uh, let me just see. Bound Villages, Bogbeth, uh, Nal Tor Leyad. Uh, so, Nal Production Grapes. What else? Bogbeth, that is... Where, where is Bogbeth? Wait, where is Bogbeth? Oh, over there. What? It produces fur, and this produces hardwood. Wasn't there one that was producing hardwood for uh, Dunglinus as well? Dunglinus has... Uh, no, that's grapes. That's... Mori. Mori, was that it? No, producing hogs. And the last one, that, that does produce hardwood. Now, I don't really want to go and create another workshop in Dunglinus, to be completely honest. I would rather go into Kar Banseth. We'll go there right now and check out what is the strength of the gang factions in Kar Banseth. Uh, Loan the Lady Una the Maid is this. Yeah, she's a gang leader. Um, relation Zero Type Power Influential. Uh, she is definitely, definitely very, very, very strong, so we will not be messing with her. Leon, the lady, uh, gang leader, power regular 53. Alright, so we should, uh, we should try and, uh, fight her, possibly. What is this? Fencing stolen goods, we will not be doing that. Ada, the mule, also gang leader. Her, her power is regular. Like, if we check real quick, the guy, um, what was he, Edwin, the spider, or whatever he was called, I believe his power is also quite influential. Uh, Edwin, the spider, no, his power is regular, 87 apparently. But then why is it so hard to beat his guys up? It might just be the uh, location, the area that we were trying to fight in. Could be that. It could be that. Um, let me just trade these things out that um, we did get from some looters earlier. Pretty sure we can. Can we actually smelt uh, arrows? We can't really do that, can we? Uh, also, the smelting, I don't know, it it feels like it has to be changed a little bit, simply because I can't smelt for two weeks at a time sometimes. I don't know if I'm supposed to stay in a city or at a town uh, for a longer duration or what, but I can't smith, like, um, I believe it's been a whole season, if not two, uh, since the last episode that I've been going around, and I've only been able to smith, like, two times in between. No more than that. So it is a little bit iffy uh, as far as that goes. Um, so no, we can't smell the... Of course we can't. Like, I was kind of expecting that perhaps we could get some wood out of it, but I guess not. Uh, so we'll just be selling those. That's an additional 400, just like that. Yeah, excellent. All right, so yeah, we are going to check out Karbanseth. Uh, we could have a wood workshop, I suppose. That could work. Um, what else, which other should, could we go for? Marunath, uh, Karbanseth, what's the, what are the chances that Karbanseth might be taken by, uh, Vlandians or something once we join them? I mean, there's always a chance that, uh, these things are gonna fall, of course. We could also go to Lageta, uh, Bound Villages, only two of them, Primesos and Montos. Primesos has hogs, Montos has hardwood. So we could open up another, a third workshop in Lageta. What about Marunath over here? Oh, four villages. Dalmengus, Ebereth, Beglomuar, and Afkafal. So this one has iron ore. Interesting, interesting. Uh, is that one of yours? It is. This one has grain. All right. Uh, Beglo, we already checked. Ebereth, Ebereth, Ebereth. Over the no, that's not Ebereth, this is. So that's hardwood, if I see correctly, that is correct. And Afkafal over here. Clay. I mean, we could try, um, 
I say we try one in ba uh, Karabanseth and perhaps another one in Lagita. Uh, so let's go for Karabanseth right now. So we said that we can perhaps try and mess around a little bit with um, Leon the Lady due to her power be being quite weak. So clearing Waterfront, Waterfront. How is she uh, that weak considering she's the owner of a lot of that stuff? Interesting. If I go to the, uh, to the arena, there is a tournament currently over here. And we won! There we go, we got an another scalpel, interestingly enough. Uh, I only did a bet on the very, very last round because it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Everything else was like uh, uh, groups, you know, I don't really do bets on those even though we won. The first round was legitimately all of us had bows and arrows. That was pretty interesting, but pretty scary. Uh, the second one, I don't know, I'm never sure about these 2v2s. Neither on this one, but the last one when we were one on one, and I was pretty sure that I could easily beat the Batanian Militia Archer. I did bet a little bit. We only got 26 gold out of it, though, when you think about it. Still, we got another scalpel, which does mean that we can either smelt it for good stuff, or we can also just simply sell it. Uh, how much is a scalpel worth? 214, and we got three of them already. Because yeah, I've been winning. I've been winning quite a few of these uh, fights. We also have three black hearts, for int uh, for instance, etc., etc. Uh, let me just no, not trade. I can I keep going back to trade. Uh, I want to do smithing. It has been an additional two days. May I? Nope. Still have to rest. Fine. And last time I did smithing, I didn't even manage to do that much. I just smelted, I think, two or three things and refined uh, hardwood once or twice, and that was it. That was that. That was it. That's all it let me do. Um, interestingly enough, and our smithing. What is our smithing level right now? Fifteen. <laughs> We're not gonna get to that fifty very soon. And that's why I feel like this game is going way, 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 way too quickly. Like an entire faction has already been destroyed. One, uh, an additional one is already about to be destroyed, and here we are, um, barely at level fifteen smithing. <laughs> you know, what are the chances that we might actually get good at smithing? I, I guess. I guess uh, the game kind of wants you to uh, decide what you're gonna be at the very beginning, but. It kind of sucks that we can't do it, you know? Uh, or perhaps, I don't know, I don't know how long this game is going to last, but hey. Uh, alrighty, we will go and check out, so Leon the Lady, uh, Wine Press Clearing, Waterfront, Waterfront. We are going to go for a wood workshop. Let's see if we can find a good location for it, where these waterfronts are located. So she's got the Wine Press, two waterfronts. Not sure what those 15, 15... Oh, wait, are those... Ah, are those the amount of units she has on those? Or rather, how hard it would be to beat them? It could be. Wait, in that case, I'm sorry, but I do have to check that once again, if that, if that is indeed the case. Oh god, so clearing 16 waterfront 15 and waterfront 15, so it's... It would still be 16, 15, 15 units for her. 1515. 15. It's always 15, it seems. She's a gang leader, owner of the pottery shop. So what happens if I just buy her out? Her power... Like, how does she have more power than she does? Interestingly enough. Alright, let's just go in and try and find the best location for this. Let us see. Let us see. Okay, so I found the wine press over here. That we could potentially take. I did say uh, I did tell Corena to bring all of our companions here just in case. Uh, waterfront is over there, and I guess that's where. That's one of the locations that we would have to fight. The pottery shop over there. Wait, it's wait. This is. <laughs> isn't this an exact copy of Dunlandis? Because we bought like a silversmith that is essentially a potter shop pottery shop here. And then you have, like, a waterfront right next to it, where we had to fight last time. Aish, 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 aish. Uh, alright, so we're gonna try and take this wine press. Uh, Leon the Lady. Okay, so she's the thug around here, I guess. Oh, hello, shopkeeper. Shop work. I would like to buy this workshop. Oh, hey, it's even cheaper than the last one. Awesome, I will, and we will make a wood workshop out of this. Strong hardwood has many uses. Crafts 
Men take hardwood here and fashion bows, arrows, and shields from them. Are you sure you want to open a uh, wood workshop? Yes, yes, I am sure. There we go. Okay, so that's a second workshop for us. Hopefully, we start uh, gaining some income out of it soon enough. Um, I'm legitimately afraid of going to fight these guys until we get our companions some better civil outfits. We can take Dawnbreaker with us, apparently. The handling is kind of pathetic. The length would be very nice, though. And the cut damage would be very good as well. So I could take it. And I could put one in the hands of, let's say, Corena. Localian, you can have the... Actually, you already have the Iron Spatha, who, which... The cut isn't that good, but here. He, here, he says, here. Uh, handling, that's pretty good, actually. Wait. Ah, uh, simple Eastern. Oh, we have the same thing. Is it the same thing? Oh, no, it's showing the broadsword. I get it. All right, but we already have Dawnbreaker, so it's fine. Locallion, I gave you that. Uh, I'll give you this. Handling better. Cut is actually worse. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. Selag the healer, you have a short sword, handling, very good, cut, very good, swing speed, very good. Alrighty, we'll leave you at that. But what, how much do you, does, like, the uh, proper civil outfit actually cost? Let's see. Batanian Savage Armor. Long fur coat. Body armor, that's pretty good body armor over there. 318 per piece, if we wanted some. If we wanted some better body armor for ourselves. Uh, let's just go build uh, the second workshop first, or rather the third workshop first, and then we'll see. Uh, once we get some more money, we will equip our uh, our companions somewhat better, and we'll go and fight these guys. Let me just uh, check the tavern. Beltru the Wronged. I take it she's probably... Oh, right, we, have, we do have some robbers and stuff over here. Or rather, looters. Didn't even realize. Kind of forgot about these. Tick, 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 tick. There we go. An additional 200. Yeah, excellent. Uh, she's probably another rogue, isn't she? Let's try talking with her. Perhaps she's not. Perhaps she might be interesting. Uh, we do have uh, one uh, spot left in our uh, retinue. What is it, stranger? Who are you? My name is Angus. Yes, I can tell you my tale. My father was a cataphract under the authority of... Alas, he... Of somebody. Alas, he died in battle against the Aserai, and I was placed under a guardianship. He had eyes for my father's estate, modest as it was, so he arranged for me to be married to his cousin. But this cousin, I would not marry that man. He was a bore, a drunk. Never there was a night that he did not reek of wine. Never a morning that he did not reek of vomit. Oh, God. But a Ketterfrat's daughter is not some chit you can marry against her will. I took a horse from my father's estate, my horse legally, his old sword, and rode off. So here I am. Perhaps I am not the most experienced of warriors, but I can learn. I cannot go back. I learned that filed suit that I stole a horse. I learned that filed suit. Okay. My own horse by right, which shows you what a cat he is. I learned that filed suit. Okay, that he files it. Okay, so some text issues over there. Uh, you got spirit, I'll give you that. So here I am, looking for a captain in your home to serve. Right now I'm between jobs. Just out of curiosity. Nah, she's pretty cheap, which means that she's probably just another rogue again. We will not be doing that. We don't really need any more rogues. I, I would love to find somebody that, uh, uh, like, I don't know, is a traitor or something, you know, that we might be able to send out with uh, a caravan or so, or something like that. Uh, Alright, we'll stop by at Dunglanis on our way to Marunath down there. Uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. Hello! Uh, tavern. Whoa! There are multiple people here. Alright, let's talk to Boritor Bloodaxe. Interesting. I wonder what his story is. It's the first guy that doesn't have a weird, uh, like, the wrong, the wicked, the black or something. Angus, it's been a while. So then, what is it? Oh, wait. 1,139 to settle up some debts. Can you pay? Let me talk with the other two first. 
Uh, no, no, no. We don't have to uh, leave. Let's just try and find them. Lid the red. You're the other guy. Oh, you're both here. Nice. Angus, it's been a while. 2,357. See, so this guy might actually be a little bit better, a little bit special. Can't afford that. Uh, I must leave now. Wait a minute. Can I hear your story again? I kind of forgot. I can use someone like you. Oh, God. Uh, what about you? Uh, pass the wine and listen close. This is a generic backstory. Lovely. And she costs us 1210. You know what? Considering how much they cost, Lid the Red is probably the best one to get. So let's just get him. So Lid the Red, he is now part of our company. Um, let me do a quick checkup on him. What is he like? What does he do? Alright, so one-handed, two-handed polearm. That's it. He's just a very, very good warrior. Darn. <laughs> and I was hoping you could be like, I don't know, something. At least you're not a rogue. At least you're not a rogue. I'll give you that much. <laughs> Improve relations with people. Uh, personal relation increase. Yeah, but that's personal. That does not help us at all. Trading, though. A party leader. Yeah. But if he was a trader, I could actually send him out with a caravan, so perhaps we should focus on that a little bit, though he is level 18 already, so I guess we just got ourselves a very, a very, very good warrior, is all. <laughs> uh, good god, good god, good god. Let's check the clan real quick. We are still the quartermaster, you are still a scout, you are nothing, engineer, surgeon. Uh, there's not really anything else that we can give, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, so we're at 5 out of 5. How's your civil outf uh, outfit, I wonder? Let me just check that out. Da -da 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 -da. Healer, bam. Uh, okay, so those woodland garments are pretty good. I mean, you got decent armor and everything, but you don't have a weapon, what? And even here, you only have a short sword, what? What, what, what? Do I give you the falchion or do I give you the si a simple eastern backsword? Uh, swing speed. Okay, cut. Thrust speed. Thrust speed. Thrust damage. Length. I'll... Hell, I'll give you both and let you decide which one to use. <laughs> oh, by the way, the, the way that I did uh, most of the money that uh, you saw me start off with this episode... One thing, like I said, I did go around to tournaments and do... Um, the gambling and everything, but I also went down to the Asanai lands and bought some desert horses, as well as Asanai cavalry. And it certainly helped. It certainly helped. Uh, most of the money, despite the fact that I went and gambled a whole, whole lot and won a whole bunch of uh, tournaments. Uh, wait a minute, the fact that these guys are over here is probably going to make it harder for us to actually make money in Manu, uh, Marunaf, isn't it? Uh, Sionan, <laughs> bring glass, it has iron ore, okay, Andurn, cow, hardwood, Swendrin, over there, Batanian pony, so a stable, another wood workshop, some iron works, or c cows? I guess. Uh, what would be the best thing? Should we just go for the iron ore? Let's check. Let's check. Let's quickly go there. 106. We should be losing 232. So we are getting a little bit of money out of that. Only 100 for now, though. We'll see if that will increase or not. It should. Considering the fact how much it costs, good god, like, it, it really should. Uh, influential merchant, powerful, there's this gang leader over here that has everything under control. Oh, God. Artisan. Owner of wine press, linen weavery, linen weavery. Owner of artisans, you're an owner of nothing over here. Oh, you're just a merchant. Got it, got it, got it. Is there a tournament here? There is not. Trade. Uh, and let me check how much iron ore comes for. 
Iron ore. I mean, I guess it's pretty cheap. Wrought iron. Crude iron. Iron. Tools. You know what? Sure, we'll do it. We'll do it. Take a walk around the street and we'll do uh, an iron workshop or something. We legitimately don't realize what what it's actually called. And after we're done with this, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go and search for the last piece of information. Just Corena, just in case. Gather everybody and find me. Localian is over here. Uh, is he the only one? No, Al uh, Alknila the wrong is over there as well. Alkila, not Alknila. What? And that is pretty much it. Only two of our companions are actually here. Why? I have five companions. All right. So tavern, back street, wine press. Wine press is very linen we weavery. We could just go here and buy this one. It's pretty far away from any thugs and everything. Backstreet is over there. Clearing over there. Waterfront up there. Uh, is there another clearing or waterfront or something? Uh, can see it. Backstreet, clearing. Waterfront. Okay, so I think we can actually buy this. Shop worker, shop worker, shop worker, shop worker. There are a lot of shop workers. Good God. Alrighty. So I would like to buy this workshop. 13, eight, nice. Under 1400, uh, oh, 14,000. Sorry. Yet again, I would like to buy it. Yes. Um, velvet weavery, wine press, olive press, wool weavery, tannery, wood workshop, smithy. I guess smithy. Smithies are heart of every military. Iron ore is forged into weapons and armor in a smithy. Some hardwood smithies also with some hardwood smithies also produce tools. Sure, you want to open a smithy? Yes. All right. Alrighty. We shall be leaving, and in a couple of days, I am hoping to start making some sort of a profit out of all of these. Uh, buttermilk, buttermilk griff is a little bit worrisome here. Um, let me leave. Okay, so there is some hardwood over here, which is good. So iron ore and hardwood, these two combined are gonna make good tools, good weapons, etc. That hopefully will catch us a pretty penny. Uh, yeah, income still shows only a hundred, probably because it needs a little bit of time to start up properly. All right, now then, off to do our last mission, or rather our last noble hunt. It might actually send us to another Asari, uh, Asari Lord or something. Uh, continue. Anybody in here? Nobody. Okie doke. Okie doke, okie doke. Uh, let's go to Hertogea. I could, of course, also go to Lageta and do some more... Um, uh, ta tab loot. Oh, 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 that's 30 looters. Oh, gold change minus 5. There we go. There we go. We're almost at a positive. <laughs> uh, good God. Okay. So, send troops straight up. We lost 0. We did gain a bunch of stuff. Excellent. All right. Love getting free money from looters, especially these larger groups. Also, it's actually better, like, I also learned this, and thank you very much once again for just suggesting uh, that we send our units in like that. None of the looters have even an opportunity to run away is the thing. And I love that. I love that. We'll head to Logita over here real quick. I'm pretty sure I can play Tablet again and gain us an additional 500. Uh, perhaps there's also a tournament here. All right, so I'll spend a little bit of time here. All right, so we sold all the stuff that we got from the looters. We lost the tournament, but I did win, of course, the tablet game. A daily gold change. We are finally making money, guys. That That's not the number I was expecting. But hey, but hey, we just made 61. Uh, despite the fact that our army is... Quite, it's it's not large, it's not advanced, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to continue making even more gold. That the numbers are going to go up. The wine press did not impress, <laughs> um, but hopefully the rest of it will. The other two will. Uh, let's see. There, where are any castles? Where are ca the castles? 
There's one over there, but that basically goes back up. Um, I guess we could... I say we go to Jalmares. Continue down to Zonica, Poros. Because I'm pretty, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure, like, we've met uh, plenty of nobles. And something tells me we will go to the Aserai next. Though we didn't meet an Aserai noble already, didn't we? Wait, we found a hideout oh, over there. Okay. Well, we're going to try and catch these looters first. And a 98 profit. Excellent. Finally, it's so nice to finally see a profit over there. All right, send our troops in. Zero dead on our side. Some more renown for us. How close are we, like, renown-wise? I wasn't really checking uh, how far we got. Let me... As soon as we close, let me just click L. Alright, so we need a hundred more renown and we'll be at the next tier of this as well. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, you know what? Since we made it all the way over here, Thorios Castle and Sestadim Castle seem much closer. So let's just head to Amitatis first. Why are we so slow? There we go. Speed 3. Sorry, speed 2. Mountain bandits, that's right. We'll run away. Oh, 33 looters. Those would be nice to capture. Uh, arena? There's always a tournament around, isn't there? I'm trying to find an excuse for why I'm doing so bad in tournaments right now, and maybe the fact that I woke up not so long ago? Is that- would that be a passable- <laughs> would that be a passable excuse? Ah, uh, good god. Yeah, my reactions in these tournaments have been bad. Like, I- what, we lost the last two? Three? Two, I think. Um, alrighty. More looters for us. E excellent, the excellent, the excellent. More loot. Excellent. Alright, now to Thorios Castle we go. We have to get the information where the last lord is located that we need to find. There we go. 128 gold income. Finally, the income is actually coming in. Uh, request entry. Nobody here. Lovely. Alright then. Next castle. Uh, nah, we won't be chasing looters right now. Really, all I want is to find somebody that can give us the information we need so that we can finally finish this, um, this quest right here. Do we go for, I think we go for Chan, Chanopsis? Chanopsis, yeah. Southern Empire, da -da -da -da, taken prisoner, taken prisoner, taken prisoner. I haven't really noticed 148. No, he's no, he's no, he's no, he's no, he's no, he's more money, more money. We need more money. Alrighty, approach the gates, continue. There is somebody. The spy part. No, I just I don't care about the spies. <laughs> I just want information. That's all I want. All right. Can you tell me something? R I know Raganvad has some thoughts about it. Raganvad. Okay, so it's not as um. Oh no, wait, he's a sturgeon. Isn't he? Wait, did the sturgeons technically still exist or what? Interesting. But he does have information. Alright, and he was seen near Balgara. Bal, Bal, yeah. <laughs> what was it? Bal. Balgard, right? Balgard? Balgard. Today. Alrighty, in that case. Straight up there. First to Sane. Opa! Uh, not sure if that's supposed to... I think that's supposed to be, like, an empire... Uh, thief. So... We might still be able to do some tablet over there? Because why not? Why, uh, why not? why not make some more money, right? 154. Lovely. It's going up with each day. Go to keep. Sorry, not keep. I was gonna go to the arena, but I guess not. Let's get rid of the looters. Bum, 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 bum. Let's also head into the market, sell everything we got. Boom, wait, uh, let me just check. How how expensive are your horses? Uh, mm, too expensive, alrighty. Do any of these, none of these actually count as war horses, do they? Nope, 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 nope. So we can't upgrade our units just yet. I can go to the tavern probably and play a little bit of tablet though. I think. Uh, judging by the... Yes, it is. Woo! Money! <laughs> Alrighty. Back up, or rather further up, to the... Wait, no. No, 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 wait. 
If we go to the Athma, that is not... Oh, God, what was that? Sounds like the neighbor's destroying the floor. Uh, we cannot pass there, so we have to go all the way around here to Epicrotea first, right? Is there... There should be a pass over there. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's like a bridge that we can pass into uh, Struja via there. So let's go. Let us go. I just don't want, like, yes, I know I keep saying that I'm gonna keep making the episodes, like, 30 to 35 minutes long, but I really, really want to find this last guy in this episode, so that we can continue in the next one. Oh, that's all, that's, yes, I shall take that. They're very slow, so it's not much of a, uh, uh, side, side quest, <laughs> shall we call it that? There we go. Nice. More stoofs. Also... Considering we're actually making gold now, we can actually upgrade our guys. Uh, so, Battalion Raider or Battalion Skirmisher? Raider. You, into... You don't need horses, right? No, you don't. Excellent. Mercenary Scout, you don't need any new horses either. Good. Watchmen. I'll be completely honest with you, I kind of want to get rid of these guys. I legitimately want to get rid of these guys. Uh, let me just check what do mercenary guards go into. Uh, encyclopedia. Tick, tick. Troops. Mercenary guard. Come on. Guard. Alright, mercenary guard into mercenary crossbowmen. Or hired blades. Wages are quite high, I will say that much. They're actually high- wait, did they up the wages? These guys are 12 now. Wait a minute. Wait a god picking minute. How much is a Bukalari now as well? Also 12. Yes, they actually upped the wages in the one of the patches, it seems. Bo both of those used to be 10. I am more than sure of it. Uh... You know what? I'll do six of you. So we have like six crossbowmen. And I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of you. I have a feeling we don't really require that many. You know what? You two. So our army now consists of 40 units. For now, I personally believe that's enough. And I would rather have battalion units in our army once we do decide to make... Um, you know, a proper army to fight uh, larger opponents. Uh, Rhesus. Though that's res Rhesus, I suppose. Uh, it just kind of um, caught my eye because Rhesus... If anyone watched the um, movie Hercules with uh, the, uh, the um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson rendition... <laughs> that one. There's actually an evil guy in there called Rio. Or rather, suppose... No, I, I, I don't want to spoil anything. There's a guy there, uh, a general called Rhesus, if any of you haven't seen that yet. Alright, let's see. So, two on two, I have Mimir versus Corina and Imperial Heavy Horseman. And after that, it's one against one... You know what? We might actually... I might actually dare and bet. Alright, let's go in and see how it goes. That was way too close for comfort. Good God, look at my health. Oh my God. He suddenly got way, way, way faster at the end of that fight. Oh God. Maurentius. You're a tough cookie. All right. But at least we earned almost 600 gold out of that tournament. I actually did their bet in every each and single one of those. I was really nervous in the last one, though. I was. I really, really was. Oh God. All right, top loot money one, looter loot, uh, looter loot sold. Oh, we didn't even have to go around here. There's actually a bridge over here. Nice. Very nice. All right, so we will not go into Omor. Is that... Oh, that's a lot of... I just love these parties of large... No, uh, come on. I mean, sure, I'll help out. Why not? So send troops. Bada-beam, bada-boom. We don't really get much renown out of that, but it's fine. 
Your help was most welcome, stranger. My name is Ancudian. Ancudian. Can I learn yours? My name is Angus. Oh. With Impestores. Okay. Ang Angus gain a skill point in charm. Interesting. I'll be taking the prisoners. Thank you very much. I will gladly take those. And I'll gladly take the loot as well. Thank you very much for letting me have that. Alright, is the guy still... Uh, we were looking for, uh, Aran, what was he? Uh, he was a sturgeon. Da -da -da -da. Raganvad. Whew. Almost forgot what he was. Last seen at Bangard. So he's still around Bangard. Good, stay there. Stay there. Let me talk to you. I just want a word, sir. Sure. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good God, I wish there was more speed in this. Why is the number going down? It's not just because we upgraded our units, we actually are spending less money than we did before. Wait a minute. He's not here. One day ago. Lovely. So how do I know <laughs> where he's gonna be for the next day? Well, first and foremost, we are gonna attack these guys. Surrender or die. Let's go. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Send troops. Excellent. More prisoners. More stuffs. Did I see that some of our units are ready to upgrade again? Mercenary guard into mercenary swordsman or mercenary crossbowman? Which do we prefer? I think we said we we're gonna go for the crossbowman, right? Yes. Alrighty. So into Bogard, I suppose, until we find out where the man is. I won't bother going into the tournament right now if there is one. I just wanna sell this. I'll do the tournament in between episodes if needed. First, tell me where, where this man is. Last seen near... It's not him. Where is he? Near Bongard, yes, but... Oh! No, that's Simir. Only 99 gold today. Seriously, where is this guy? That's Simir, that's not who we're looking for. Quickly fight these guys off. More prisoners. More stuff. Last seen near Bogard one day ago. Yeah, but this is not him, right? It's not, it's Simir. Though, I will say interesting how they still exist. The surgeons, I mean. Haragenvad uh, has some thoughts on it. Yeah, okay, but I'm trying to find them, but... Having a hard time finding the man. It wouldn't say that he's near... The place if... Wait, he's not... Ragnarok of the Surgeons escaped from captivity. Okay, so he's not captive. Why are you losing units? Balgar two days ago. Can you tell me where he is now, please? No, can go behind there. Legitimately checking every nook and cranny to find this guy. Was he taken prisoner again or something? That was summer of last year. Summer 11. No, he... That's still Simir, and she continues losing units. My party is starving. What's happening? Go on. Men are running low on food. We should be more careful of that. Very well. We'll consider this... When taking such actions. Uh, yeah. You're not wrong. Has increased by 11. Interesting. I was not paying attention to the fact that yes, indeed, we do not have... We lost all of our food in the meantime while trying to search for this guy. Oi. Uh, so let's see. 
grain is actually expensive here. Fish isn't, though. So I'll take a bunch of your fish. I'll even take a bunch of your butter, even some of your meat. There. Yes, I just spent 1,000 for food on for our guys, so they are not... Ra no, that's Ragnar, that's not... That is bull! You are not here! My friend, I am at a Balgard. Simir. Is she losing units because she can't uh, pay for them? I'm guessing that's the case. Just slowly but surely losing all her units. And we're slowly but surely losing our income as well for some for whatever reason. Where are you? Alright, well, I'll try to find this guy in between episodes, guys. I have no idea where he is. I have no idea what's going on here, but uh, <laughs> I'm done looking for him on the recording. At any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Sorry that there was, like, I was really hoping that we would find this guy and finally finish this quest. Um, but I'll be sure to record as soon as I do. At any rate, guys, thank you very much for joining me. I have been Kaiser. I will see you guys next time. And until then, as always, if you like what I do, please do consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. You know how it goes. Share these videos around and I will see you next time and until then, ad gloriam.